Welcome to the channel. How the heck do you buy a residential proxy? Let me break it down for you. All right, guys, get ready to find the best proxies on the internet. So I'm going to show you where you can find the best. Hint, hint, it might be the site I'm on. And we can also figure out what a residential proxy is and why you'd buy one and where you can get the best pricing. It also might be the same site. I'm probably certain it is. So first proxy for you. Why? Because we understand proxies. We give you a free trial. We break down all the information as well on our YouTube channel. That's not enough. We have the best prices. You can pay as you go. So you do not have to pull out the piggy bank, shake it, and make all the quarters fall out to get your online business going. Now, why would you use a proxy? Well, if you're doing multiple things. For me, it's doing multiple Facebook Marketplace accounts if I want to do that. If you want to go on Upwork after they give you the Banhammer, or a freelancing site, or maybe a crypto site, or you just want to get data and surf with anonymity, proxies are the best. But that leaves a big question. What type of proxy? Well, glad you asked. You have three types. You have residential proxies. This is going to be like a laptop, a desktop. They're actual physical devices, not something that's in a data center. A data center is like you would picture. Big data centers, you know, wires going everywhere. Dude spilling coffee, hopefully not. But certified business IPs right here, that's a whole data center. Usually though, they can find data centers because a lot of computers, they can figure it out. And mobile proxies, you guessed it, this guy. So today we're gonna look at residential proxies. So if you got $2.50, you're good to go. If you don't, just you know go outside and be like, bro, Give me $2.50, I'll get you back. I gotta get this proxy so I can get my online business going. Maybe get LLC and hosting too, but just kidding. But how I'd do it? Well, I'd click on get started. And then it's easy. You simply put your name, your email, password, company if you have one, how we'd contact you, and then you hit register. If you already have an account, you simply log in. Now we can see I bought a residential proxy plan. So I'm going to be going to a desktop or a laptop near you, probably for some Facebook action. But how do you buy? Well, you click buy plan and then you want to pick the proxy you want. You can see here, 5 million ethically sourced, meaning this is not BS. Simply, we actually know this is real laptops, desktops, stuff like that. So you won't get in trouble. You know, there's a lot of cheap proxies out there that just don't get you results. And we don't like cheap proxies or VPNs. We want to actually get you real results. That's the big thing about this. 5 million sourced IPs, 195 countries. And you have free tar country targeting, any state and zip, paper traffic, so you can pay as you go. So the piggy bank, even if you don't have 250, it's fine. You can get the 50 for doing your chores or whatever, or you know, for selling your crypto, and then just come here. And we can actually see here, this is the best rates for the best product. One to 49 gigabytes, 50 to 1,000, and 1,000 plus at $1.50. You know, usually I say when it's too good to be true, it is, but it's not. <laughs> so, got 50 price and the total price right here. So, I can just say, I want one, from order, then you'll have to go pay with Stripe. So you'll want to go to stripe.com. That's how you pay with cards. Um, but you don't have to have a Stripe account if you don't want to. Now, if you have a Stripe account, what is that? It's just a payment processor like PayPal. And then we're gonna have whatever you want to pay with. You can pay usually with a card and you click pay. And that's it. So I hope that was helpful to you. I hope you're able to get a residential proxy to your online business. Now, this is going to be crucial when you start scaling your online business. Maybe when you're just starting out, you're like, okay, I don't need a proxy. But then you're going to be going to different websites. You might want to scale with the e-commerce business and use Facebook Marketplace or different types of sites. Maybe you want to scale with the crypto business or different things. And you eventually will need a proxy because VPN just isn't going to cut it most of the time. At least that's been my experience and the experience of a lot of people that I have worked with. So let me know what you think down below, which type of proxy would you use? This is how you get a residential one, but the same logic applies for all of them. 
mobile and data centers. If you enjoyed this video, found it informative, smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell to know when I post more videos. Questions or comments, let me know down below. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one.